Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows 11 on a virtual box so you can test out Windows 11 without installing it on your PC. So let's begin. First, you need to make sure your computer meets the minimum requirements from micro for Windows 11. You can find the link in the description box below. Once there, right click this PC, Properties if you were using Windows 10, and here you can do the comparison. As you can see, uh, my computer is fully compatible and it meets the minimum requirements for Windows 11. I got a 16 gigabyte RAM, they required a 4 gigabyte RAM. Uh, I have an i7, 4 gigahertz, they require a 1 gigahertz processor. And what else? They need uh, UEFI, 64 gigabyte or larger storage. I got, I think it's at 500 gig, so I'm okay. Then Google Oracle VirtualBox. Download and install. I'm using Windows, so I'll select the Windows Hosts link here. Once downloaded, go to your downloads folder and run Oracle VirtualBox. Next to the wizard, you can leave it default and click on next, but my hard drive is getting full, so I have to select a different uh, installation location. So in my case, I'll select drive F, a folder I created here. Okay, again, you can leave it default. Click next. I'm gonna uncheck create a shortcut to the quick launch bar and then yes to the warning, install. Oh. I'll uncheck start Oracle uh, VirtualBox right now and click on finish because we don't wanna start it right now. And again, delete the executable because my drive is full. And I suggest you do the same. Okay, now you have installed Oracle VirtualBox, you need to download Windows 11. You can find it uh, in the Microsoft website. You need to become uh, an in, into the Insider program and then download it. If not, you can get creative and Google download Windows 11. Okay, once you have the ISO, go ahead and run Oracle VirtualBox. I have a few pre-installed virtual machines, so in your case it might be empty. Click on New. Here, name your virtual machine, I'll call it Windows 11. And again, I have to select a different location because my drive is getting full. In your case, you can leave that section default. Okay, again, Leave the type, Microsoft Windows version, I'll select Windows 10 64. There it is. Very good. Click on next. Change the RAM to four gigabyte, which is a minimum requirement, remember? Leave it default, create. Again, leave it default next okay here uh, the minimum requirements is 64 gigabyte of storage so I'll select 80 click on create okay good we have created our virtual machine now make sure it's selected and then click on settings storage select the disk icon and browse for that uh, ISO you downloaded. So click on choose file, Windows 11. Okay, and start your virtual machine. Okay, for some reason it didn't get the uh, ISO, so I'll select on the drop down and select Windows 11 ISO. Good, 
Now, it'll boot from that ISO. This installation is similar to Windows 10. Here, click on Next. Install now. I don't have a product key. Okay. From the options here, I'll select Windows 11 Pro. Exit the license terms. Select custom install. So we're not upgrading. And here, make sure you select the 80 gigabyte drive we created. And then click on next. This process can take a little while. When it asks you to press any key to boot from CD or DVD, do not press any key. Just let it run. Here, select US if you're in the US. US keyboard. I'm not going to add a second keyboard, so I'll skip this. Okay, I set up, I'll select the uh, setup for personal use. And here you can sign in with your Microsoft account. If not, you can create a local account by clicking on signing options, offline account. And then limited experience. Remember, you can sign in with your uh, Microsoft email account. Create the name. Next done here click on next to the privacy settings remember if you select no they'll update it and then they'll reset it back to default so let's click on yes done Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Now you can test out Windows 11 and have fun with it. Thank you for watching.